thought I was going to talk a little about choosing material uh, wood for your Tagel Harpa or Bowed Lyre. Um, a traditional violin is made out of uh, uh, maple and uh, the top soundboard is made of spruce. There's no reason to not use spruce. Spruce is the best material for the soundboard. The best guitars, the best violins, the best string instruments have spruce soundboard. So we'll use spruce. And when picking <coughs> your spruce, uh, it's important that uh, the wood grains go straight through the board you want to use for your sound board. Uh, so this one is perfect. Uh, I will use uh, um, the part where the wood grain is uh, about straight uh, and I will cut away the rest. This is firewood. So, and this part I will use. Uh, depending on the uh, on your saw blade, uh, this could be either three, split in three, or to be safe, you can split it in two and uh, use a planer to get it uh, as thin as you want. But again, the wood grains for the soundboard needs to go straight through the soundboard. That's for the best resonance. Um, for the hard <coughs> hardware, I guess you could use any hardwood. I have used uh, ash for tuning peg, tuning pegs, grip board, uh, bridge, and uh, this one. I don't know the name. Uh, on violins, uh, the bridge is made of maple, so you could use maple. Uh, this one works fine on my instrument, so I use ash. Um, another important thing uh, you need to have on your Tagel Harpa is the sound post. Uh, this one goes between the top soundboard and the bottom. Uh, it uh, stands between the top soundboard and the bottom soundboard, right beneath the treble foot of the bridge, uh, a couple of millimeters, three, four, five millimeters behind and underneath the, the bridge. This is both for a better sound and to keep the top soundboard from caving in. Uh, when you make a flat instrument like this, it has no support, so you need something to support it. And this is both, both for support and uh, for the sound. So, and I have the brightest string on the bottom of the instrument then you have to place it underneath there. If you have the brightest string on the top of your instrument, you have to place it under that foot. Not directly under, but a couple of millimeters behind, three, four millimeters. Uh, another thing, uh, this is not finished, but just to illustrate my uh, point, underneath the base foot uh, uh, on the deepest string, you should have a base bar. This one is glued under the soundboard and uh, beneath the, directly under the base foot of the bridge. 
for the sound too. Um, they are both made of spruce. Uh, I don't see any reason to use any other material than spruce, other than on the hardwood. Uh, the sound post I made from a old broken arrow I had lying around. Uh, it could be a little uh, thinner, but it's okay. Uh, the tuning pegs, this is one I've started to make for my next instrument, maybe. Any hardwood. Uh, I think this one is uh, ebony. This is ash. You could use oak or any other hard wood. Uh, for glue, I use tight bond. I have a friend. Uh, who gave me that advice. He's an instrument maker, so I trust him. And it's easy to work with, it's easy to apply, it's easy to, easy to remove, uh, and it makes the instrument solid. Um, I think that was it. No, maybe yeah, for the bow, you could use any twig you find that's already bent so you don't have any uh, outward you don't pull uh, the horse hair too tight um, i have found that i have another bow uh, with the white uh, horse hair and it doesn't seem to make the strings uh, sing as easy as this one. It makes a softer tone. And I like, uh, like the black hairs better. It's make, it makes the strings a little, it makes the sound a little rougher. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. You can get horsehair from eBay. Uh, I have not tried any synthetic uh, hair, so I cannot give you any advice on those. Uh, but horse hair, you can get cheap from eBay. Okay, I think I that was it. And uh, any questions, place them in the comments field. Have a good day.